All right. So hello, everyone. And again, I'm very excited to be with Dr. Ajay, uh, recent INICT November 2022 with amazing rank 30. So welcome, Ajay. Heartiest congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much, ma'am. Right. So first, uh, introduce yourself, Dr. Ajay. Yes, ma'am. I'm, uh, I'm Dr. Ajay Shnoi. I'm from Karwar Institute of Medical Science, Karwar, 2016 batch. I have joined DBMCI after my internship with the regular courses, ma'am. Been with them since the last six months. All right. So how did you uh, manage your classes along with the internship? No, ma'am. I joined after internship, ma'am. Okay. So how did you uh, like the classes and how did you follow the regime? Yes, ma'am. In the beginning, I was actually, when I talked to my friends, the classes were for like 10 hours, 12 hours. I was really like, how am I going to do it? But then once I started attending, I really started enjoying the classes, ma'am. The, even the teachers had their way to get, make keep us engaged. Even uh, like anatomy classes, microbiology and all. Even with a lot of theory, we were able to sit through the class, ma'am. Not only that, even after coming from class, they used to motivate us. So even I could study even after the class late night. Okay. So which classes, uh, Ajay, you liked most? <laughs> I liked all the classes. All the classes. <laughs> okay. So uh, how did you think that uh, these classes actually helped you to make your concepts more clear? Because, you know, papers are more conceptual nowadays. Okay. I'm definitely, ma'am, I felt offline is more, uh, it's better than the online classes as we had face-to-face -face interaction with the teachers mm -hmm. and you're sitting amongst your friends, you can also discuss with them, mm -hmm. then discuss with teachers as well. We can stop them anytime we wanted. Then even during breaks, we were, we were going to them, approaching them and asking them questions. So it helped a lot, ma'am. Offline classes, I think, are the best. Okay. So how many hours you used to put in for your study daily? Ma'am, minimum, I used to study for 10 hours, ma'am. Maximum I've gone is 14 hours. I used to start my day at 6 o'clock. Then I used to go till 1 a.m. in the night. Okay. And uh, uh, what amount of time we should give to the theory and what to the MCQs? I, I would ma'am in the beginning you can you'll have a lot of time to solve the questions ma'am. Yeah, actually we missed your answer, uh, Ajay. Can you repeat this one? Ma'am. Uh, in the beginning, you have to give a lot of time for uh, the theory, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Then once your concepts are stronger, then you can start solving more and more questions. Okay. So uh, you did the TND? Ma'am? TND, test and discussion. No, no, ma'am. I was not in test and discussion, ma'am. Only okay. regular batch. All right. So no, you were giving the test now, Ajay. Yes, yes, ma'am. I was yeah. regularly giving my grand tests, ma'am. Yes. So how frequently you were giving the test? Um, once in 15 days, I was used to give, ma'am. Then I used to review all the all my questions. When, whenever I had doubt, I used to put up in the Super 30 group, which I was... Uh, yeah, I you were a part of Super 30. Yeah. So how was your experience in being a part of that Super 30 group? Yeah, it was a really great platform for discussion, ma'am. We could ask anything that, that we wanted. Like, and the teachers were never, <laughs> but I've annoyed a lot of teachers, man, especially Jai, sir. <laughs> I've asked him a lot of questions. Uh, but I think uh, you get privileged there and you get a prompt reply from yes, the faculties. Definitely, definitely ma'am. Yes. All the faculty actually put in their thoughts in it. So it's like a whole perspective we are getting from a one question. Yeah. So, um, what do you think was the quality of the questions in the Bhatia test? Uh, and uh, did they help you to solve the questions in the main exam? Yes, definitely, ma'am. They were actually uh, strengthening my concepts, ma'am. There was one, there was this one question, which I remembered from the Bhatia test, ma'am. 
that i that i it was I exactly knew. the same yeah, yeah the same question was there man i knew and that this was the answer so i could not okay. get it so how frequently do you think that uh, one should give the test and uh, do the uh, review of these tests yes ma'am initially in your uh, initially in your process you can give once in 15 days mm -hmm. give and uh, you, it's most it's very important to review that as well like mm -hmm. see what you have made mistakes go back to your notes everything will be in the notes but we would have not revised it well or we would have not understood the concepts so it's better to give once in 15 days and as you go through the thing it will become very easier you can give it once a week also as well ma'am okay so um, which subjects do you think are most important for the preparation and we should give more focus on those ma'am i and i they usually they are biased towards uh, the first and second prof ma'am so even yes. uh, you, you very you need to be very strong with your basics especially anatomy physio and biochem because you can answer any even from surgery any any subjects you can answer from these subjects ma'am pharmacology was very volatile for me and sir's notes really helped me a lot okay so, acha what was your uh, first reaction when you saw the paper uh, Uh, was it uh, similar to the mock and the grand test you were giving or uh, it was different and with the grand test i was i was actually towards the end i was uh, i was able to do all, every all the 200 questions i had like i had got a practice of it but in the exam it was all very a lot of stress man I was not able to do it <laughs> ha ah, so that see is uh, exam stress is always there but yes, uh, what i wanted to ask that the quality of the questions yes, that were there in the test and the questions that were there in the mock were they similar to the one that you presented in the um, final exam you had a good yes, practice of these questions or yes, not yes ma'am uh, i the concepts were stronger by solving those questions ma'am so anything that if, if there was anything confusing i could easily rule it out ma'am because of the questions that i solved yeah so any faculty you would like to uh, thank or the classes that you like most you want to you want to mention this is the time you can do i want to thank everyone ma'am but nasir sir actually changed my perspective because he told us to keep it simple just stick to on to your notes and previous year questions before that i used to spend a lot of time on unnecessary questions ma'am but after that i i just even i didn't believe it in the beginning yeah i thought how how is this enough for such an exam even i was thinking that but later on i just stick down to my notes ma'am so that way i was able to revise everything in the end all right so uh, how much do you think uh, the pyqs and the pyq topics are important and one should stress on Um, they are really important ma'am that give you an idea that which topics are asked the most and it really helps you to narrow it down and makes it less less uh, hard ma'am so that means sticking to the notes and giving yes, the test regularly that yes, is your schedule so that's all i did ma'am that that is the sole source that you studied with so bhatia notes were gold standard the yes, test that you gave and you could do everything from there itself that, yes ma'am that's all i did ma'am okay any major challenges that you faced during your preparation and you want to share that Yes, ma'am. I wanted to talk about my bad days and how to cope up with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to even after the classes, I used to get tired. But that was not an excuse to give to not study, ma'am. Even when I was tired, even I had a bad day, I used to start mm -hmm. slow. Even if it was going very slow, it was okay. But within a few hours, I would forget whatever was bugging me, and I could I was able to go throughout the day, ma'am. So excuses are not the should we shouldn't give any excuses, ma'am. So show must go on and uh, consistency is yes, the definitely, ma'am. Okay. So what did you studied, Ajay, in the last fifteen days? Because you know you have read all the notes, you have given the test, but now there's always a dilemma: what to do in the last days. So what did you do? So, ma'am, I was always preparing for the last ten days, ma'am, because I know I knew that these ten days were very crucial. so even from the beginning even when i was reading my notes i had kept certain topics for the last 10 days 
So I, I was able to do all the 19 subjects in the last 10, last 10 days. Okay. So you focused on the higher topics and okay. the questions. Yes. Especially first and second prof, we need to give it a lot of importance. Okay. Any uh, last minute takeaway message that you would like to give to your colleagues or juniors? Um, it's better to make a small notebook with uh, confusing things, especially mm -hmm. so that you won't make any mistakes again in the test, ma'am. You're be talking hard. about that 20th notebook? Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. Something like that. But I made it for all the subjects, ma'am. So in the last day, I just went through all those questions. All right. So I think a very, very um, important journey and very awesome rank that you have got. We all are very, very proud of you. And uh, actually, you have made us proud. So uh, wish you uh, all the very best for your future endeavors. And heartiest congratulations once again from whole of the team TBMCI. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, ma'am.